proxy war, otherwise known as war on the cheap. It is easier and cost efficient to let others do the fighting, especially when important but non existential interests were at stake. For example, in Middle East region, Saudi Arabia and Iran never declare war on each other. Instead, they fight indirectly by supporting opposing sides in other country and raising conflicts. Since 2003, there have been estimated 1,095,000 civilian killed due to proxy war happening in various region in the world. After 1945, the use of proxies grew significantly. Because, no major power wanted to risk, a direct confrontation, and possibly trigger nuclear war. The United States has involved in proxy relationships in the Middle East, Europe, and to a lesser extent, Southeast Asia, that have entangled it in conflicts, in Ukraine, Syria, Yemen, Iraq, and the South China Sea. In the 1980s, U.S. support for Islamist proxies in Afghanistan led to the widespread distribution of donated weapons, including Stinger anti-aircraft missiles, at least some of which have since been used in other conflicts. Moreover, this support stimulated the emergence of Islamist militants, capable of global terrorist operations. More recently, U.S. military support for Saudi Arabia and Iraq have risked implicating the United States in war crimes. As the armed forces associated with both these countries have directly targeted civilian populations and may have committed other gross human rights violations, NATO's support for rebels in Libya, while successful in ending the conflict with the government, resulted in an ongoing and so far intractable civil war. The introduction of a proxy relationship adds other considerations to decisions regarding intervention. Potential proxies decide to resort to violence based on beliefs about their capabilities. But a change of plan leads to never-ending conflicts in the region. It is likely that many Syrians who took up arms against Assad did so because they believed significant US assistance was coming. And when it did not, they may have felt abandoned. Wars are only justified by a violation of some kind of right. Such violations do not have to rise to the level of atrocity to justify fighting. They simply have to rise to the level of aggression, for which there is no non-violent alternative for resolution. As this discussion suggests, proxy wars are not only going to feature more prominently in international conflict, they are likely to become more complicated and thus more difficult to resolve. At the time of this video, conflicts in Syria and Ukraine are frozen, yet escalating. Saudi operations in Yemen continue to implicate the United States and undermine its moral credibility, despite legitimate efforts to manage this particular moral hazard. States need not necessarily avoid such relationships, instead, they should establish promulgate and follow norms that treat partners as ends not means, align interests with the greater good, and reduce the suffering wars inevitably bring. And as always, thanks for watching.